starting the timer and here is the system. Right, so if you have read and understood considering eight critical care scenarios, kindly tell me what are the differential diagnoses for this patient that you'll consider? Okay, my first differential diagnosis is the transversal section of prostate syndrome. It can be due to sedation and uh, effect of sedation and analgesia effect during surgery. Yes. Uh, or it okay. can be due to hyponatremia and blood loss of cerebrovascular disease. All right. Can you tell me uh, how would you define TURP syndrome? This is causing installation of sign as symptom, which is caused by uh, absorption of large volume of fluid through the prosthetic venous plexus, which causes dilution and hyponatremia, and okay. also causes hyposmolarity and hypervolemia. Okay. Uh, this patient, uh, considering that has low blood pressure and saturation is 88% with mass, how would you manage this patient further? And seems to be confused and disoriented. I will manage according to the CRISP protocol using yes. ABCD approach. Yes. I'll check the airway and assess for the breathing. As yes. uh, this patient has low oxygen saturation, I will give high flow oxygen via non depressing mask. Yes. How much, uh, how much oxygen would you give? Because it's... Uh, 100%. All right, okay. Uh, I will assess for the... Then I will assess for the circulation cardiac pulse rate and blood pressure. Uh, okay. I will assess the venous line to monitor the cardiac support. Uh, also, I will give in a, tro in a drop to maintain the blood pressure. Yes. Uh, Patient is already uh, just pause. Uh, just think for a second. Patient is or uh, here in this scenario, blood pressure is low as well. But just pause. If patient is already getting oxygen with the mask, so what would you think that uh, what's happening? What would you check? Maybe there is. I will check. Go for ABG. Yes, but then maybe you'll see if maybe it is mask is on, but oxygen is turned off from the back or the resource from which patient is getting oxygen is already empty. So that needs to be checked and replaced. So there may not be uh, an issue with the uh, saturation of patient itself. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay, how, what would you do for okay. the blood pressure? Uh, okay, this patient has high and high, uh, Fluid is receiving high volume of this, so I will stop any fluid uh, infusion. I will give any drops through the central line. And okay, can you please tell me why is it will... called TURP syndrome? Why is it called syndrome? What does syndrome mean? Sorry. What does syndrome mean? Why is it called syndrome? Because it is a constellation of many signs of symptoms. Yes. It is a hyponatremia and hypo, uh, hypo osmolarity and also hyperphonic. And there is also something else happening. Why do you think this patient uh, goes... Hyperthalemia also. Over fluid overload. Okay, can you please tell me why this patient uh, seems to be confused and disoriented after surgery? 
because of the hyponatremia. Okay. And also might be the you have the cerebral edema. Cerebral or pulmonary. Okay, okay, you can say okay, low sodium causes confusion because of cerebral edema. Okay. Can you explain the mechanism how it takes place? Okay, can you tell uh, okay. what, uh, yes, if you're answering, otherwise, can you tell how, uh, what measures can be taken to prevent this from happening in the future? Uh, we can use regional anesthesia yes. and also reduce the time of the operation. And also yes. we can uh, uh, make the operation table horizontal. Yes. And also avoid using glycine. Yes. What can we and use instead of glycine? Isotonic solution. Yes. Okay. Can you explain uh, what, uh, why do they use glycine? What glycine does? Okay. Because it's simple and easy to sterilize and it's yes. transparent. And yes. also it is neutral, so we can use it during the tenacious uh, resection of prostate. Okay. Can you tell me what are the complications that can occur because of this condition? Okay. There will be hyperammonia and also yes. this leads to CNS toxicity yes. and visual disturbance. There will be hyponatremia and, and cardiac depression. Okay. And there will be also... How would uh, the potassium level be? Pulmonary and cerebral edema. And also the BDIC and renal fit. Yes. How would it affect cardiovascular system? In the cardiovascular, there will be hypertension followed by hypotension and also there will be cardiac arrhythmia. Yes. ECG changes will be what? Uh, typical of? There is increased field PR interval. Wide QRS and ST. Yes. Okay, how would, uh, what tests would you do regularly to monitor the patient, mm -hmm. the progress of the patient? Okay, uh, I will ask for urea and electrolyte and also for check for the blood cause level and also for the sodium. Okay, uh, once you are replacing uh, sodium, how would you go about, what is more important? What precautions would you take? It should be not more than one millimole per, per, uh, per okay. liter per hour. Yes, per liter per hour. Very good. What about the coagulopathy that can also occur? So how would you take care of that? Uh, okay. This is uh, because of hemolysis. This yes. leads to DIC. Yes. I will check for bleeding profile. Then I will, patient might need platelet and cryospecificate. And Very fresh frozen plasma. And how would you take care of hypothermia of the patient? That patient should not be freeze post operatively. Uh, avoid the time of surgery, and also we can use Higer system to warm the patient. Yes. And also use hemodified uh, warm fluid gases okay. for. Good. Okay, uh, patient yes. might have been uh, over uh, has been given fluid overload, so. How would you take care of that? A patient will need uh, diuretics. Diuretics. Okay, which diuretics? I will give, uh, yes. Yes, please. I will go for loop diuretics. Furosemide. Furosemide, very good. Okay. Uh, where on kidney does this furosemide act? Okay, this is act on the ascending loop of him. Okay, good. Good. Very good. Very impressive. It is prevent so. Yes, good. Right. Here is your question. Uh, 